Okay, hi Cancer, it's L here to do your oracle reading for the week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer. Whew. All right. Um where do I start? All right. So for some of you, we're going to talk about the cancer male, and then we're going to jump into the story for the cancer woman. So if you're a male cancer here, or you're here um, about a male cancer, then um, this cancer male could be a wealthy man. Uh, however, wealth is defined for you. They have their shit together, right? Um, this person could have been very materialistic, very carnal, very worldly, very, again, um, measuring themselves by way of material things, cars, homes, clothes, shoes, just really about the look of things, um, value of things, just being super materialistic because they are or they were piss poor morally spiritually just bankrupt spiritually here um this person this male cancer could have been a dating king had a lot of options knows a lot of people gets around can communicate he has a very dynamic charismatic pool draw to people so this person kept their options open they dated around they dated a lot of people they could essentially be a club hopper party 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 you know um they have people that feel like they could talk to them talk to them for hours or they talk to they just talk all the time they always on the phone this could go for male or female cancers okay um this person was also closed off to love. They were open to connections and relationship and dating, but they were not open to love. They were in a very dark place. Now they could have a darker skin tone, be, a, be of a different ethnicity, but they were in a very dark place, okay? And all of a sudden they met this person, this mature woman. Now she doesn't have to be older or she could be, um, but she's cultured, she's sophisticated, she's independent. And she has something of substance and to, to provide to any connection, any relationship. And this could be vice versa, cancer, okay? Um, but this person was still, this male cancer was still focused on youthful, no strings attached, playful, not serious connections, maybe with younger women, or maybe just altogether, this is what they were focused on. This is what they were more comfortable in. But they knew that they had a real strong connection chemistry with this mature woman because she brought a lot of spiritual growth. And remember, this cancer male is or was bankrupt morally, spiritually. They just didn't get it. They didn't think about that. But it seems as if now there is a disconnect and there is no connection. There is no uh, communication or there's very little. And someone is hoping and wishing that this person return because all of a sudden they could have left and now somebody's waiting for their return. Someone is anticipating um, a message here, okay? Uh, or they're even anticipating giving a message. Beware because it could be that this person hasn't changed or it hasn't been enough time that has elapsed between the two of you so that this person could actually have some real change. Because right now it looks as if this 
male cancer is getting karma, you know, dealing with the situation and understanding that uh, relationships uh, come into your life for a reason. Things may not turn out how you thought they would. Um, and that's because maybe there needs to be some spiritual growth here within this connection. This person, this male cancer could have also thought that maybe a younger, more not serious energy was the better choice of woman. And now they're finding out that no, this person wasn't, they're very um, childish. Uh, it's like babysitting. And now they're understanding that maybe a connection that they left or that someone left them in now they're understanding that the person who left them is a twin flame was a gift from the heavens but this um cancer male may have put someone in a triangle in a love triangle okay now cancer woman you could be going through kind of the same thing here um the man the man that you're dealing with or we're dealing with um wealthy the relationship could have been over all of a sudden this person sees you flourishing you suddenly walking into your power you having a lot of options uh, to date other people or people are just drawn to you um, and now this person wants you back okay um, and they'll do anything to get you back this person once again could have been very materialistic was all about what people think was all about maybe the public or public image or recognition this person was in a very dark place in terms of spirituality again no no spiritual component to them at all um, they could have even thought that you were nuts at times when you were bringing up spirituality and twin flame journey and soulmate they just didn't get it now this person dreams of a life with you or dreams of opportunity with you okay maybe even dreams of um, maybe having a weekend getaway with you um, this is in the distant horizon they're waiting for you to either reach out to them cancer woman or or um, you're waiting for them to reach out to you but you understand that this um, message could be very um, this person hasn't changed there's an ul ulterior motive here okay um, so you understand that also um, this person could you could have children with them cancer woman or something about children maybe that bonds you or binds you two together uh it could have been a third party that this person was already married but acting um independently from their marriage acting like a single person um cancer male you could have also been dealing with a dating queen somebody who was getting a lot of attention online or or socially um and this was a karmic situation for you You had something to learn here because you had another option but you didn't choose that option therefore you were left with the karmic person and um they're like um i don't know like rob robbing you blind or spending a whole lot of money okay of your money okay um you could be in an unhappy marriage or cancer woman your person could be involved in an unhappy marriage that they brought you in as a third party on um, and now it's a karmic situation to the point where both of you have something to learn here okay look at that that light go towards the light learn something become your higher self the both of you whatever you know um, the advice here is surrender to the divine so um, a relationship might be over a situation might be over um, you need to uh, understand that um, maybe some holding on to grudges or holding on to um, how you felt about someone you need to speak to them because you also have um, communication is key new moon and Gemini uh, you may need to, to forgive someone and release the negative in energy here or vice versa. This is what they need to do in terms of you, Cancer. Um, it's time to let go of the past and move on because some of you are holding on to it. A wish that you may, it might, um, it might be able, um, it might be about to come true. Um, and right now it's just make it or break it time. 
you need to do something. You need to show up in some type of capacity. It might be a lot of chaos and drama in the air for you right now, but you need to push through, surrender to it. It's happening, right? You got to say it's happening or it's happened. Um, with the new moon in Gemini, you need to tell someone how you really feel. Don't be all up in your head. Get into your heart space and understand that someone is flirting with you, especially those of you who are single, ready to mingle. Uh, you are the dating queen or king. Okay. Um, and read more books also. Something about knowledge and knowing yourself. You got two spiritual growth cards, spiritual growth. And then you got the distant horizons card, uh, which talks about spirituality, growth, wishes, dreams. Okay. Um, also write a list of all of the people that you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Okay. Um, so write their names down on a piece of paper and maybe you'll write down how often you see them in a month or you talk to them in one month. So that's 30 days and you'll see if you are prioritizing your person. Um, some of you are in love with your friend. Okay. It, it started as a friendship and now, um, you're in love with this person or vice versa. Your friend is in love with you. Um, I don't know if you feel the same way. Some of you are definitely in love with the side woman and cancer woman. You could be the side woman. Okay. And someone's in love with you and they, it seems as if they want to risk it all. They don't know how to, they have to deal with that on their own and you have nothing to do with that. Okay. So these are the messages that I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.